Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. like some kind of drainage pipe.
could pick that up on my own. old nuclear fallout shelters. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Wonder if someone's living down here. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the look. That means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Oh God. Vernon, what have you done? Now tell me, who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. We are from Crawford. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick and the old. So their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so... You're sick? My friend here asked you a question. We're sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to meet at the hospital here. Now we're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. <laughs> They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down here. Few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? 
You expect us to help you after the way you busted in here and terrorized us? Hey, if I got in your face a little, that's too bad. All this shit that's gone down has made us all a little punchy. I just want to get home. I hear you, but we all got our own problems. Two of our people are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. You can either show me the way back or die right here. What's it gonna be? You son of a bitch! Sorry, but it's like you said. We've all got our own problems. It's all right, Bree. I'll show you the way back to your people, and then I hope I never see you again. Deal. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Not by choice, I can assure you. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clem's drawings, but where is she? Clementine! You hear? Clem? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them?
Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! What are you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Holy shit. Swear. What's taking Kenny so damn long? How hard can it be to look over a boat? It'll take as long as it takes, Lee. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? 
Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We're armed and we've got the numbers. I say we just go in there and take what we need by force. Okay, that is literally the dumbest idea I have ever heard. Crawford's like a goddamn military base. They've got hundreds of people in there armed to the teeth. And that perimeter's guarded day and night. You're gonna have to be smarter than that. Oh, maybe we can be. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> <laughs>